Hello, my name is Ken Knight. I'm from Argo Yachting. We're here today in Swanwick Marina and we're going to have a look around this beautiful Bavaria SR41. She's called Digby. She's a 2022 model, only lightly used and the owner's looking to upgrade because he's really enjoyed boating. It's their first boat that they've owned as a family. I'm looking forward to showing you around. So here on the swim platform, on this example of the model, we've got a high-low platform. It certainly won't be a standard option on this boat, and it's quite a big box to tick in terms of costs. She's got the keyways and hard points there, ready to receive a tender, so you can easily put chocks in and, and secure the, the tender down to the deck when you're underway. But if you don't want to utilise that, you've, need, you've got a nice, neat, flush deck to enjoy, either for swimming or just getting on and off the boat. So on the swim platform here, we've got this big R-facing locker, great access, swallows lines and fenders really easily. So as soon as you come off the dock, you haven't got to move lines and fenders and find different homes around the boat. You can get everything into that single locker, which is really handy. We've got our hot and cold water shower here on the starboard side. And then we step up, we've got a teak lined cockpit sole. And then this big sun pad aft here. So at the moment, this backrest is set up so you can get lots of people around the table. But equally, if we want it for sunbathing, we can lift it up and rotate it. And then we've got a large triple sun pad, very sociable, single level. So if you can be reclining and relaxing back here, and easily involved with the person that's on the helm, or equally sat around the table. Yeah, that's always what I like about these single level layouts. It's, it's just very sociable. As we move forward, we've got a fusion stereo system. So it's a multi-zone system. Got several speakers up here and then a couple of speakers down at the lower saloon. And then on the starboard side here, we've got a grill, we've got a sink, we've got a fridge. In fact, there are three fridges on this boat, so you're never going to struggle for refrigeration, which is really handy. A bit more storage. And as we move forward, we've got our helm station here. Really flexible as to how you can enjoy the helm station. We've got a bench seat here with a bolster. We've also got a footrest which we can deploy. So we can either lean against it and have a leaning post. We can put that down or we can stand up if we want to put our head out the window and drive. If you're a bit taller than me, I'm 5'9". I find it probably more comfortable to drive these boats sat down with better visibility and a bit more relaxed, but it gives you options. And this is obviously the hardtop version of the boat. So you've got a deployable electric roof that you can open up. There's no canvas to mess around with here. Just at the touch of a button, you can enjoy a yeah, beautiful vista on a nice day. Other things we've got at this helm station. We've got a pair of MFDs. Uh, Simrad is what this boat has been built with. So we've got two plotters there. And then we've also got a wireless Simrad uh, VHF up here. It's a dual station, so you've also got one down below as well. And then really nicely, uh, an optional extra, being quite significant, is the Volvo joystick. Um, you've got the bow thruster as well, but with the joystick, we independently control the stern drives on this boat. This boat's been fitted with the D6, the 380, so the larger of the two horsepower options that are available you can build this boat with if you're wanting diesel power. And this owner, this was their first boat, um, they felt reassured by having a joystick. It is very straightforward if it's new to boating to take control. That trickling time when you're coming in to berth the boat does make it very, very controllable. Other things we've got this helm station, we've got an adjustable wheel, so if you've sat down or standing up, you can get a nice driving position got quite a lot of depth here as well which is really handy we've also got a separate volvo display screen so it's a digital display screen for all your engine data and then individual to bavaria is the switch gear that they go for which i think is really nice so you've got your breakers there's four main breakers down here on a slide panel push button it's quite a nice arrangement just a little touch which is uh, just well thought out by the manufacturer this owner's wanted to make sure it's easy for when they've got a mobile phone on board. So we've got a scan strut uh, wireless charging station as well as a couple of uh, uh, scan strut waterproof USB charging points. So if you've got multiple phones on the boat, yeah, it's dead easy for charging, which is quite handy. This boat's been fitted with a diesel heating system, which are normally very, very effective. So you'll have an outlet in each compartment down below. But also, they've got one on deck here in the cockpit, which is really handy. So in the flank seasons, as you're sort of coming into the summer or maybe in September, October, perhaps got the roof closed. You can have the canvas on at the, at the stern, but you can also then heat this cockpit. Just a small touch, but can make quite a big difference to your enjoyment and comfort when you're on board. We've also got sliding windows both sides both starboard and port so you can easily ventilate or communicate with crew and then we've also got this big chaise long here on the port side so yeah lots of space for lounging out and enjoying and then we've also got sun pads on the foredeck here as well so yeah you've got lots of places to lounge relax 
uh, and enjoy the boat when you're on board. So here we are coming down to the lower saloon. Got nice easy steps to get down. And what I mean by that is a nice gentle rake on there. You've got a handrail as well. And then we're met by a large open space, which is great. We've got C-shaped seating on the starboard side here. We've got this very nice ivory leather that this boat's been finished in. And then we've got the breakers over on the starboard side there with the second part of the dual station VHF as well. Lockers all the way around the top here with storage. And then we've got these pencil lights, which are nice little touch. They've got USB chargers just at the bottom there. This boat certainly doesn't struggle with chargers. Everywhere you look, there's somewhere to charge your phone, which is great. You can never have too much of that. All low power draw, which is handy. Got our Basto heating controls here as well. And then we've got our Fusion stereo that controls this, this area. Um, but it's dual zones, so it's also the one in the cockpit as well. I must admit, what I really like about this new generation of Bavaria is a lovely exterior design, which is very sharp, but also the space that you get in this boat is great. The volume they've squeezed out of it, the light they're cheating into the boat, makes it for a really nice place to spend time down below here. We've got an L-shaped galley here on the port side, so we've got sink, we've got a big top-loading fridge, great for swallowing up lots of drinks, and then we've got another 80-litre Dometic fridge down below with a two-burner uh, induction hob above. Storage and these lockers all overhead. So wherever you go, they've squeezed storage space in here. There's some more sockets behind there as well. So yeah, just really squeeze as much practicality out of the boat as possible. We've got two heads on this boat. So we've got one on the starboard side here. So this is a day heads, but also service the VIP cabin, which is just behind where you guys are now. It's a very nice compartment, really large berth that you've got up there. I think what we'll do now is we're going to have a look at the midships master cabin. So here we are in the master cabin. It's quite impressive to have a midships master cabin in a boat of this length because obviously we've got the natural challenges of the cockpit competing for space above. But you can easily stand up in this compartment. Obviously height over the berth as you expect is going to be a little bit more restricted. But it feels light and bright. We can get around both sides of the uh, transverse mounted berth. So it's easy access for both people to get into bed. You've got a nice mirror, got lots of light. We've got this nice settee. We've got storage and then we've also got the ensuite bathroom here on the port side as well. So yeah, it's a true master cabin. I think what we'll do is we'll wrap things up on deck. So in summary, Digby is a very nice example of the new generation of Bavaria, the SR41. She's one owner from new, only 135 hours. She's got some nice big options from that high-low platform that's fitted, the larger D6 engines, but she's also got the all-important Volvo joystick that more and more people are wanting on boats these days. It does give you a lot of confidence if you're new to boating and stepping at this level. When you're coming to manoeuvre close quarter, it just makes it so much easier and more tactile to use. Or maybe you're coming from a smaller boat and there's people on the boat when you're, when you're using her that aren't so familiar uh, with tying the boat up. It can just make manoeuvring, like I say, in that close quarter circumstances that much easier to handle. I'm sure there are things I've missed off this boat. So the full specification um, and the technical details, 3D tour, photos, and the all important price are on our website, which is argoyachting.com. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you've got any questions or queries, or you'd like to view the boat. Thank you for your time today.